Okay, guys, we've got our block. Um, I've marked out a rough pattern, the template, and as per, I've given myself the line for um, the tobacco chamber and the draw hole. Um, the marks on here is just for me, so I know how far to drill down here before it meets that line that goes there, and vice versa. Um, the block is my standard four centimeters. Uh, can't quite get that in focus. Four centimeters deck, as deep as it needs to be to accommodate the shape and design of the pipe. And uh, now I'm just getting set to put it in the chuck and start drilling. Another quick thing uh, to note, which I forgot um, to mention, was as well as marking out and how wide the actual piece is. Uh, to put a centre point on the centre of the block where it's going to join for the actual the drilling bit itself. Uh, what I've done is I've just basically uh, I've bought a mark uh, from this line across the top and marked the centre so that I know that it's in centre and exactly the same as well for the draw hole on the shank uh, so otherwise nothing's going to meet at the other end. Well, right, I'll get this in the chuck and we'll put the camera on a tripod and then we'll start getting some drilling done. We need to. Okay, so I've cut off the surplus timber we didn't require here and just roughly eyeballing it with my ruler against the edge of that versus the edge of my rotating um, tailstock. Uh, that's roughly in line, so that's pretty much all I'm going to require. So, my next thing now is I need to find what mouthpiece I'm going to use so that we know what size hole we need to drill for the tenon to come in at this angle so that the whole pipe will flow smoothly and gracefully. Right. This is the stem I've decided to use, it's a jean set, uh, one of a collection of pipe stems that I've bought at some point. Um, and with the aid of my trusty drill bit gauge, uh, I've managed to ascertain it's a little over the 10 and under 10.5 so I'm going to use a 10 mil and that's what I'm going to drill my pilot hole or tenon hole sorry uh, there and as you can see as for always I've marked it off with the tape the masking tape and I've allowed just a little bit more than the depth of that to allow for the shout for the actual drill bit itself so we get that drilled and see how well it does or doesn't fit idea of what our pipe is going to look like at the end. So the next step for me now is uh, I'm going to turn off the camera because it's going to be hard working around a tripod and I want to take down this front edge a little because what I'm actually planning on doing is 
right in about here I want to put in uh, like a decorative wooden collar so I need to bring that off flush so that I can um, stick the protective collar to this edge and that decorative collar will actually match the rim of the pipe that I want to put on at a later date so I'm going to do that off camera and uh, when we get back to that bit I'll turn it back on the decorative piece I'm going to use is uh, literally just a piece of spalted uh, I think it might be birch I'm not quite sure it's something I've got with a, a job block but I'm hoping that once it's actually mounted onto this edge which as you can see I've cut flat now um, using my square carbide cutter uh, I'm now going to attach this to that and then wait for it to uh, completely dry and then turn it along with the rest of the shank and then redrill this piece here and hope that everything all comes together at the end but we will see what I actually do for <coughs> helping me centre the piece over the, uh, the pre-drilled tenon is I know that the last hole I made was in line with sorry the last hole I made was in line with the tailstock so if I line up my piece of wood with the uh, I think it's the quill on my tailstock that should ensure that everything is in line I hope Right, it's been left overnight gluing um, the decorative piece is, seems to be well and truly on there um, so my next step now is I need to really re-drill that uh, to be able to meet up with the other hole which is why I'm not taking this off of the lathe at all uh, so everything will align properly I need to re-drill that now and then afterwards we start turning it down to form the decorative part of the shank so, there goes. Like miss up yesterday but I'm not worried about that as I want to take it down and in that way I can add the uh, decorative um, rim that I want to put on to the top which is going to match the spalted birch um, so now all I need to do is just take down a little bit more of this shank and then the rest of that will get done um, with the sanders and what have you uh, and then after that we can come back turn it around and start organising the bowl drill for that hopefully the two parts will meet and um, after that it's all down to the sanders and files and everything else okay now I've turned this down as much as I'm going to for now if I continue doing it I'm going to end up 
going into the top of the bowl so I'll do that with the bandsaw and uh, the sanders and what have you so the next trick now will be to turn this around to take off this top part of the bowl and just give myself an outline, do the drilling and what have you hopefully we'll meet up with this piece and um, start getting the rest of it organised and see if it's going to come out if you're hoping it will Lining up process is exactly the same. We line up this line with the centre mark of custom jewels. And at the same time, I still have, yeah, I still have the mark. first thing I want to do is bring this back down to here give ourselves a clean edge uh, to work for like I say that piece isn't required either which way as I'm going to be adding a, a section on to match the decorative end of the shank well I've well, taken this down to where I want it made it as near as flat as I need to for now um, what I'm now going to do is make a fairly large pilot hole with this 8mm and then to make the actual tobacco chamber I'll use this modified um, spade bit which is 20mm and as per I've marked it with my tape to the depth that I'll be wanting so hopefully at that point the two will meet up and uh, we should have a nice clean airway record for part of that process but I've drilled the tobacco chamber and as you can see holes all meet so I'm quite happy with that um, so now I just want to turn the very top of this uh, just to give me an outline for when I'm doing the actual sanding so as I know where I'm sanding to and then uh, we'll start with a bit of the shaping and then the decorative top section it's about almost as far as we can go using the lathe. I'm just going to give this top edge a bit of a quick, uh, uh, bit of a quick tick up with a bit of sandpaper. <coughs> just take the whiskers off, and uh, then be able to bandsaw, and then the filing, the sanding, etc. Right, I'm at the bandsaw now. Unfortunately, I forgot the game. Press record on the camera. Uh, I'm making a lousy trouble. Uh, all I'm doing is cutting the, the surface material off uh, before we begin the sanding and the rest of the shaping. majority and uh, all I'll probably do now is just notch off these corners sorry <laughs> notch off these corners <coughs> and then uh, we'll be on to the sanding section which will give it a much uh, more refined shape 
and uh, then afterwards we start making the, the top piece which as I said before I want to do out of bolties okay and with some of these sand in the shaping um, I actually use the majority of it for these um, and basically just uh, thrap wheels that I get off of eBay I think I'll pay something like about a fiver for uh, no it was 10 euros for 10 free shipping um, I find these extremely useful um, and they last quite a long while as well so I do like those another thing that I do as well on here I don't know if the camera will pick it up Turn the screen around. I can see what I'm looking at. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, what I've actually done is um, I've got a mark here. That I don't think the camera's picking up. And I'll do a mark there and another one on the other side. So that as I'm actually doing the sanding um, whatever I take off of this side I can take off that side which basically gives me a sort of uniform shape on either side if you get what I mean but let's start getting some sanding done and you'll get to see I would have thought Probably about as far as I'm going to go using the disc sander. Um, so now my next trick will be using the little vice here. I'll make these little dollies which basically sit in there like that. It goes on that, jams down on, and then it's in with the sandpaper in and the files. Now I'll just put that in the frame. There. Right. On these dollies I'll just make out a bit 1v1, I'll chuck it in the lathe. Just taper it down so that I've got 20mm here and then up to about 28-30 down here. The pipe will then just go on and jam on. And like that. I can then get in with the file. Took some time as I get the shape and everything that I've been doing before. Probably not the best system, but it seems to work for me. So. Maybe it didn't cost me anything. So, I'll get on with some more of the filing down and things and uh, come back later. on this piece so I'll put some masking tape around a decorative part uh, and give it a couple of coats and we'll have a look there ok 
Okay, I've given it a, um, a bit of stain. And it's had a bit of um, stain and grain sealer apply. So now what I want to do is uh, just literally take the, the shine off for now. And to do that I'll use um, 1000 grit. piece for the top, decorative piece for the top. Right, so whilst I'm waiting for the main part of the bowl to actually dry, um, what I'm going to do is Start turning this piece of spalted birch that I had as well, and this one's a much lighter one for whatever reason, but it'll do nicely for the, the, the top that I want to do. So, the first thing I'm going to do is drill a hole it's using the same bit, same spade bit that I used for uh, the inside of the actual pipe, and then I know that, that will fit exactly the top of the pipe. And then after that we can shape this and sand it and hopefully it will look nice when it's all put together. Thank <laughs> you. 